Found object printmaking with Ms. Foley. Why are we doing this? Well, we're trying to explore some new art techniques, like printmaking. We also want to work on making art with a background, so we're going to be overlapping shapes in this project. We also are going to be experimenting with repetition, because with printmaking, it's very easy to use repetition, and it's always fun to learn new art techniques. So first you're going to need to go and gather some found objects. We're looking for objects that have texture and also objects that you don't mind getting paint on. So here are some things that I used. I didn't end up using all of them. I really liked the cardboard, the plastic fork, the egg carton, and a few others. I enjoyed using the Lego and the other kind of plastic parts. Uh, from toys that I was able to find in my house. So look for objects with texture. All right, after you have found a collection of objects, you're going to need to grab colored paper, some paints, more about that in a second, a brush, and a water cup and paper towels also heads up, this is a pretty messy activity, so you might want to cover your work surface with newspaper or some other protective material to uh, avoid getting paint all over your works, work area. So the type of paints that I'm using are tempera paints, which are washable paints that can wash off of anything. Um, you can also use acrylic paints, but just heads up, if you let it dry on the object that you use, or if you get it on your clothes, it may not wash off. All right, you can pause the video here if you need to go grab your supplies, and I'll see you back in a couple minutes. All right, now that we have our materials, we're going to print. So keep watching to see the process that I'm gonna to use to print. All right, so I have a sheet of colored paper and I'm just gonna grab one of my objects. I'm gonna, I'm gonna either use my brush to cover it with paint or I'll just dip it directly into the paint and I'm gonna stamp it onto my paper. Then I'm gonna keep repeating until I kind of have filled up either the whole page or you can just do part of the page if you like. You may encounter objects that you don't really enjoy printing with and you may not want to fill a whole page up with them. I really enjoyed using this fork. I thought it worked out really well and so I filled a whole page up. All right, next object I'm trying is a Lego and it's too big for me to dip it directly into my paint because I've put little blobs of paint onto my piece of wax paper. Um, so I'm just going to use my brush to directly apply the paint to the Lego. And then I'm going to stamp that onto my paper. So as you can see, it is a little bit of a messy activity. So there we go. And as my Lego runs out of paint, I'm going to have to apply more paint so that I can continue to get an impression, or I can continue to get um, something to show up when I stamp it on the paper. So there we go. And then I'm gonna have to load it with paint again every single time that I use it. Uh, another cool thing that you can do is you don't need to use the same color. You can mix colors together as you're doing this, so you can kind of switch to a different color as you go.
right, so I'm gonna try out using a natural material. So I found a seashell. I'm just going to, I love the texture on it, but I don't know if it's going to work for printmaking. So one thing that I do uh, notice is that sometimes if you dip your item directly into the paint, it makes too big of a blob when you print it the first time. So you may have to keep trying. There we go, now it's working. Keep trying and um, until the amount of paint on the object gets a little bit less. The object kind of runs out of paint as we go. So this material is cardboard. And what I've done is I'm just, I've cut a circle out of it and I'm ripping off the top layer of cardboard so I can, sh I can expose underneath that top layer those little bumps underneath. And those little bumps are perfect for creating prints. So I really recommend if you can find some cardboard to try making a little stamp just like this. You can have your learning coaches help you cut a shape out and uh, rip that top layer off. So uh, as you know, as you've seen me do a few times already, we're gonna apply paint to the front of that object and stamp it down on my paper. Ooh, I love it. There we go. Uh, one other thing to think about is making the choices of colors to try, uh, of paint colors and uh, paper colors to try out. Um, so with this one, I chose to do yellow with black because I wanted to have a lot of contrast. So I'm trying to choose uh, color, paper colors and paint colors that have a lot of contrast because it seems like my prints turn out better when I have contrast or a lot of difference between the colors and the colors of paint and the colors of paper. This object worked out really well, but I found when I see it, it, it ends up having too much paint on it when I dip it in to the paint puddle. So I have to almost do a little practice stamp on my, my wax paper that my paint is on uh, to get off the extra paint. Um, I also am dipping it in very, very lightly. So you'll, you'll find objects that are the same as this where you have to do a little practice stamp on your a wax paper. Um, okay, so some objects are not flat, like the objects that I've shown so far. They're round. So you may need to roll them, like this little, this little thing that I have here. You have to roll it. So this will be the same. You'll have to, um, you have to roll other objects that are not flat. So experiment and try things out. You might find that some objects just don't work for this. And that is okay. That's the point of this assignment is experimenting and trying new things and coming up with or figuring out what works for you. All right, so I'm gonna try out my egg carton. I've zoomed in a little bit so that you can see uh, what I'm doing. So I'm still I've dipped the egg carton into the paint and I'm stamping and I, as I go, I'm not refilling and I'm not dipping back into the paint. I'm just letting it run out. And there we go, I'm starting over again and slowly letting it run out and seeing how many stamps I can get until it runs out. And I feel like this, it makes my repetition all different. I'm repeating the same shape, but it's different um, because I'm slowly running out of paint. All right, here I am changing to a different color, using white instead. This was one of my favorite objects. If you have an egg carton at home, you should definitely try uh, this, this one out. 
All right, so you get the idea. So for the remainder of the video, I'm gonna go pretty fast and uh, just go through some, some more of the different objects that I collected and you can just watch. This little gear thing was one of my favorite things and I also love the orange and black combination. This is a spoon, but it ended up looking really cool, kind of like a seashell. All right, so now I'm gonna clean up. So I'm gonna take this paint, I'm gonna clean off all these objects, and I'm gonna clean off my work surface. So there we go, those are the final uh, prints that I created. I'm super excited for you to try this out. It was really fun. So save these, let them dry, and store them in a safe place because we're gonna be using them for part two. Thanks for watching.